Hey guys, it's Bonnie. Today is Sunday, May 17th. We are two days, that's four, two days away from the release of A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Or is it Snakes and Songbirds? I still don't have this title 100% down. Yikes. As you know, I'm a Hunger Games binge. I have to say it's only just now feeling real, this release, because it's so close and I'm like about to hyperventilate. I've just recently finished my reread of the series. You can see my vlogs and the one live show that I did where I talk all about my feelings. Today's video is not going to be about the past, necessarily. Well, I guess it is about the past because this is a prequel, so it takes place before the Hunger Games books. Details, details. Today I am here, as you can see by the title, to talk about my predictions, theories, things I want to happen. I don't really exactly know. What I do know is that while I was reading the series, I would put a tab on anything that made me think about this prequel novel and gave me like a prediction or a theory or thought, whatever. Plus I have some things that I've gathered just from the snippets that they have released. And so I'm here to talk about all of them. I have somewhat collected my thoughts in this notes app and I'm just gonna go through it. Okay, enough introduction. So I kind of sorted these things from each book that I got them from. Yeah. When you try to film but your family interrupts you. So in the beginning of a book one, there's a line that says, then he reads the list of District 12 victors. In 74 years, we have had exactly two. Is it possible that the girl from District 12, because from the snippets we know that this book is going to follow Snow and then his tribute that he's mentoring from District 12. So I'm wondering if it's possible that she is that Victor that we don't know about because the other one is Hamish. So I feel like it's very possible that she could be that other Victor. Unless she dies, which means that she's definitely not the Victor. Also, like in that same scene, we get the line, District 12 hasn't had a volunteer in decades. So could this District 12 girl also be a volunteer? Because that kind of connects to one of my other theories, which is that, well, this isn't really a theory. We've kind of already like seen this in the text, but that this girl from District 12 is probably gonna remind Snow a lot of Katniss. In the snippets, we just hear about how she's this underdog that really gets the capital's attention. And she just sounds a lot like Katniss. So if she volunteered, that would only up the stakes there. And that also makes you wonder if President Snow did see this District 12 girl in Katniss. Did he dislike Katniss because of something that District 12 girl did? Did President Snow fall in love with her and then watch her die? Did he fall in love with her and then have her reject him? So that was what I got from book one. Moving on to book two. When Snow and Katniss are having that conversation in the beginning of the book, it says, President Snow rubs a spot over his left eyebrow, the very spot where I myself get headaches. This is probably a crackpot theory, but is there a chance that Snow and Katniss are somehow related? I really don't think that's plausible, but I I do have like a crackhead theory there. Like did one of Katniss's ancestors somehow work their way up into the capital or did a different ancestor work their way down and therefore produced that? I don't, I don't know. Like I said, this one isn't a strong theory, but like maybe. Maybe. Then we get this line in the book where Katniss's mom is talking about the previous Coraquell. I had a friend who went that year, says my mother quietly. Macely Donner. Her parents owned the sweet shop. They gave me her songbird after. A canary. So that made me think, does the District 12 girl have a connection to Madge and Macely? Because if you remember, Madge is the mayor's daughter and Macely was her aunt. This video is literally just me being like, could this be a th thing and then not having anything else to say. Then there's this quote. I don't want to talk about dying songbirds. They bring up thoughts of my father's death and Rue's death and Macely Donner's death and my mother inheriting her songbird. So dying songbirds is a theme which is maybe pointing that this District 12 girl is not going to survive the arena and she's going to die. So as you can see some of my theories cancel out the others because if she dies she obviously can't be 12's other victor. Then we have the notes I took during Mockingjay. The first one isn't so much a prediction as something I'm kind of hoping we'll see explained or like touched on. It was just a quote about the roses and it said that white is snow rose. 
I'm wondering if this prequel book will kind of explain Snow's attachment to roses. We know like he likes them and they try to cover up the smell of his blood from the sores in his mouth. But like, why roses? Are they significant? Tell me more, tell me more, Suzanne. Then we have the scene where they take refuge in Tigress's shop and Katniss said, did Snow ban you from the games? As we know from the snippets that have been released, Tigress is Snow's cousin, which like, bitch what and so i wonder if we'll start to see his betrayal in this book and if that will be touched on at all then i have this quote from the end of the book i begin to sing at the window in the shower in my sleep hour after hour of ballads love songs mountain airs like a a songbird perhaps so then i got to thinking is katniss related to the girl from district 12. i feel like that might be the strongest theory because even if she dies in the arena her parents could have had other children that would go on to be related to Katniss and that would also make me think that the relation would be on her dad's side because he was also a singer I don't know I don't know so that's pretty much everything I took notes on from the books and the snippets. So to round it up, I think my biggest theories are Mr. 12 Girl is the other Victor of 12 and that she has some kind of relation to Katniss. I have to say, when you look at all the snippets that talk about this District 12 Girl, she does have so many similarities to Katniss. And I don't know if I like that. Obviously, I'll be able to judge better when the book comes out. But I don't just want like another Katniss Everdeen, if you know what I mean. Like, I already have Katniss. I really hope this girl girl just stands apart from her and that it's not just like a carbon copy kind of thing. Also I think it's interesting that I would say from the snippets it's pretty obvious we're getting dual POV so that will be interesting to see from Suzanne Collins because as we know the first books were all just in Katniss's perspective or maybe it's not dual POV and I'm wrong but like I said the snippets really seem to make it like seem that way. Some things that I want from this book obviously I want to see how Snow becomes the way he does and I think that's something we're definitely going to get. I'm interested to see why Snow becomes so like greedy and bad to the poor when he was in that situation, which we again learned from the snippets. Notice how I keep saying snippets because the word excerpt, excerpts, excerpts is very hard to say for me. I'm just overall really excited to learn about what the world was like at that time. It's the 10th Hunger Games, so it's been a decade since the war. Also, Snow is 18 in this book, which makes him like 83 in Mockingjay, which is insane to me. And it also noted that Tigress was older, which again, like just looking at the movie, I know we didn't really, I think get an age for Tigress in Mockingjay. I can't remember, I'd have to go look back. But I'm just like, she, she was what? I feel like my theories are probably pretty basic. I haven't watched anyone else's videos. I'm sure there's videos out there. I haven't looked at like people's theories Maybe I will when I get done with this, but I also kind of want to go in just like not knowing too much I don't know. I'm excited. I'm nervous. It could be really good. It could be really bad I just hope overall this doesn't try to humanize snow but rather show how a villain becomes a villain because there's that saying no one is born evil and I think that's true all right I am just rambling at this point so I am going to go thank you so much for watching I will have a release day and reading vlog for this book once I finish it I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have it be like a spoiler vlog so I get all my thoughts out but let me know if you prefer vlogs that are spoiler free or if the person goes into all their discussion thoughts things whatever okay that's it I'll see you guys in my next video thank Thank you so much for watching. Bye!